1808. But before all of that, it's a story we've been following for over a year now. After twins Annie and Izzy Bateson were born conjoined, being connected from the chest to the pelvis. We tried for quite a few years to have the girls um, and as soon as we started treatment, our first um, cycle, we conceived the girls. It never dawned on us that that was going to be um, a possibility. And as they were doing the scan, um, I was watching and I said, are they conjoined? And he says, yes, I think they are. We hoped for the best because they were so determined and the fact that we got to 35 weeks in itself was a miracle. They are great. It was a long journey. We tried to prepare ourselves for actually for how difficult it would be, but we totally, yeah, there was no preparing for it. Um, I just think there's no underestimating quite what they did go through. Bar their head and their arms, every part of their body was operated on. It's amazing. Like it's... They are amazing. Well, we are delighted to be joined for the very first time in the studio by Annie and Izzy, alongside Mum and Dad Hannah and Dan. And it's so nice to finally meet you in person and also your gorgeous girls. How are you doing? How's everything been since we last spoke? Really good. Absolute chaos, um, as yeah. our life has become, but a uh, good chaos, mm -hmm. um, manageable chaos. We've spotted cookies on the table already. Oh, yeah, no, well, that's Here we go, whatever it takes. Yeah. Um, but no, we're good. We're good. Oh. We're still figuring it all out. And then when we kind of figure it out, it's nearly as if to say, oh, they're starting to get the hang of us now. Let's just change it up a bit. Yeah. And we kind of start mm -hmm. again. Oh, they do. They do. That's they babies do. for you. Yeah. I did laugh, Dan, <laughs> you saying that. Oh, suddenly you realise now how it's difficult like... it is with two separate cots. Yes. And you're bouncing from here to there oh, and it's... it's mayhem for you. I think that was the big, our biggest realisation, uh -huh. that they were separate when you had two crying babies and they weren't together. Yeah. And when you sort of, you can't divide yourself. Um, at all times, but uh, yeah. So they've all, I mean, they're so young and they've mm -hmm. been through so much already. There's been, I mean, the smiliest smile. They are the most gorgeous girls. Um, they've been through lots of lots of surgery already, I think. Is it up to sort of 20 surgeries yeah. that they've mm -hmm. had so far? Where are they at with their treatment? How's that going? So that's actually one of the other reasons we're in London at the minute. So the girls, we're having appointments today. They keep us very busy. We have yeah. appointments today and tomorrow and the girls are both having surgeries on Monday. Right, OK. So mm. that's our sort of our, our new normal, but we understood all that. It's not that anything has went wrong. It was such big, complex surgery that there was going to be things to tweak and mm -hmm. um, figure out as we go along, and that's just part of their wee journey, I think. Yeah. How do, how do they cope with it all now? Obviously, it's, mm -hmm. they can't tell you all about with it, but their behaviour. Yeah, I mean, they so just look smiling. very relaxed and happy and you healthy. They are so smiling. They are, they do, they are very relaxed and happy. Um, obviously, when they're sick, they're sick, they're not. But as soon as they're OK, it's back to badness. It starts climbing everything. It's yeah. back to... Which is so resilient. There's no sort of huffing or nothing. It's just, you know, going from sick to back to at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which they is just good. seem to bounce back so quickly, no matter what's thrown at them, they're very determined. And, and they, they've just also surpassed... At you, I'm like, oh, she's just <laughs> listening to everything, taking it all in. They've, um, they've surpassed all expectations, actually, mm -hmm. which for you as parents must just be such a huge relief. Yeah, yeah and I think, you know, people sort of look at, at what's going on in our lives and say it must be so hard, but I think we're very much living in a period of gratefulness. Mm. We didn't think we'd be where we are, Mm -hmm. And it is hard, <laughs> um, but it has been worth it. It's been worth it for us. It's hard yeah. for the girls, and it's them that's going through it all. But um, they're just. I mean, look at them. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. just and they are characters. They are. <laughs> who's okay. the um, Who's the noisiest? Both. To be honest. Take it in turns. So you think you have the biggest rascal, which currently is actually Izzy, but then mm -hmm. they do role reversal. Um, and then it's maybe Annie or... But they are... They are well, can I just say, no matter what you say, they have charmed the nation this <laughs> oh morning. I don't word. think we believe any of it. I mean, Where's they are clapping? so perfect, so, so well-behaved. The twinkle in the eyes, I look know, at you, little dotes. There is... Um, the other side to this is that financially, you have been through a lot. This yeah. is all very expensive. <laughs> I know that the um, people and support that you've had has been huge. People right. have been incredibly generous. You've had a Just Giving page. And without that, mm -hmm. a lot of their treatment wouldn't have been possible and a lot of the care afterwards. I think it, it just takes a, a bit of the stress off us being able mm -hmm. to travel. So I think last <laughs> year, I spent more months in London than I did at home. Right. Um, so that and travelling backwards 
and forwards. And what we've learned with the girls, things are never quite straightforward. Mm -hmm. This little lady spent most of the month of May in hospital, so simple illnesses just seem to take their toll yeah. on them a bit mm -hmm. harder. And, but we're working it out and we just, we are grateful. The support has yeah. been amazing, whether it's through our Just Given, whether it was on social media, mm -hmm. words that we have received. People are so articulate sometimes with yeah. how they feel and it, it just, it just amazing, it just really blows helps. us away. Mm -hmm. It's so unexpected. How do you, how do you plan ahead? Because obviously now, there's prosthetics in the future, you yes. hope, and there's lots of stages you can go through. How far ahead do you plan? So, we're, prosthetics is next. Um, we were actually supposed to be with prosthetics, but... Um, oh, oh yes. Can I get them? Yes. Would you like this? Say so you up. Up. <laughs> That was snatched out of your hand. Straight away. <laughs> um, but prosthetics is our next um, big challenge. So, uh -huh. it's, it, it's not just walking prosthetics. So, the girls um, have no hip pelvis on the other side. So we're hoping to get some form of prosthetic that can help them sit up unaided. Even for balance? So yeah, for a little bit of balance. Yeah. And then hopefully, but nothing stops them. They can crawl, they can climb, nothing safe. If we set them down, they'll be away. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. I bet. Um, they go. But they just adapt to, they do. to their lives, don't they? Amazing. And I think the fact that they've been so strong-willed, and they are strong. Very well, strong well, little ladies. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. That is strong willed women. That is what we have. They, um, you, I mean, this weekend, like you say, you know, they're very susceptible to even the sort of smallest bug can have, you know, real consequences for them. However, last weekend, for the first time, you did get away to the beach yep. and have a bit of a holiday. Yeah. That must have been a real sort of marker, literally a marker in the sand. I mean, yeah. there they are, the girls. Was that lovely? It was uh, amazing. Uh, really, really amazing. <laughs> Izzy wasn't sure at first, but within about half an hour, she was eating the very sand uh, and uh, loving yeah. life. Uh, we don't get very much sun um, in Ireland either, so we had to make the most of it. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> Ireland is like the Caribbean these days, even up in <laughs> Toombridge, OK? So let's uh, not... Let's well, for this weekend, yeah. I'd say. <laughs> We've had, I think, what is it, 10 days, nearly two weeks of beautiful weather, so we have been making the most of it. They must be proper little superstars up in Toombridge, are they? It, it's amazing, actually, how invested people are in, in them and in their journey and we can't go anywhere and it's the twins and we're now just the twins mummy and the twins <laughs> daddy uh -huh. um we but it's lovely it is the community has been it's amazing. great the support you feel you do have yeah. you know what i mean it's, it's so important um, well, they are gorgeous. It's so lovely to meet all of you properly you. and good luck okay. with this next round of treatment that you've got to have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Girlies, keep smiling uh, and, and keep in contact and, and just let yeah. us know Thank how you're you. getting on. Thanks for all your support. You. I think we all want to know kids. how you're all getting on. Yeah. You're so gorgeous. <laughs> Yay! Yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so well sweet. done. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Lovely to meet you.